Hello, and welcome back to another episode. What are you two doing? What? Uh... My Volanosaurs are doing- are practicing pirouettes, apparently. Alright. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess- I guess that's as, uh, good a sign as any to get this ball rolling. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, today we're going to be, as I said in the last one, working on the horn per Whoa! Don't want to be directly in front of that when that happens. Oh, they stopped. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, we're going to work on the Hornberg Tower over there. Um, also going to, you know, work on some outdoor security here. Um, maybe if we have time, do some decorations. Honestly... This is probably going to be the last main building episode for a while. Um, I'm ready to get back out there and do stuff, but uh, hey, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll we'll see what ends up happening. Okay, so let's consider something here. Uh, okay, can first of all, can I break this rock right here? I don't think so. Nope. Can break that one. Yeah, no, we can't break those. So I want to defend this area. Let's let's take a fly. Let's take a fly around and see where we can like point out obvious spots that would need to be defended. So any point from here onward, realistically, is something you'd have to consider. You know this hill over here, uh, which oh, and he got shot. <laughs> oh, he's mad. Oh, look at him. Hold on, we'll, we'll get right back to that in a second. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's under the thing. <laughs> oh man. He's trying to figure out how to get to him, but he can't. It's like how the fuck? <laughs> Poor guy. What level is that Packy? Uh Results unclear due to uh Desmodus ear in the way. Okay, he's right there. Oh, uh, and I go to check his level, and he goes right to the other side. Okay. Ah, uh, he's level 15. He's trash. Here, let's come in here and solve this problem. Yeah, but proof positive they can indeed shoot over those walls, and those walls offer them a good deal more protection than the previous version did. But back to the matter at hand. We've got this area here. So, what would I... What are the... These are the things that you consider... When you go, how am I going to defend this place? Like, areas like this. You know, we could wall them off. We could do all sorts of things. Right? We can also just throw down some spikes. Call it a day. Now, you can break through spikes. They're, they're metal spikes. Like, it can be easily breached, and I will need to make more of them. But, uh, they are quite an effective defense stopping someone from just immediately getting over that. In the sense that you have to take the time to destroy them. Or you're gonna take some damage trying to get around them. You know. Same idea. Now, the reason why I put a, a whole line of them there is because I can't really see that area. And I might put up, like, a watchtower or something, but again... You're gonna need things to to watch from the watchtower, and you can't always rely on turrets. Problem with a turret tower, turret watchtower, as I've mentioned before, is that you know one C4, you know a few C4 to the base uh, to the base of the tower, and uh, you don't have a tower anymore. So, bam. So there goes that. So what else is at risk? Uh, enemies coming over the side, over the mountain here, and just walking basically right in. Uh, and having free reign of the place once they do. So, this is a whole different can of worms right here. We'll come back to this. Uh, maybe not in this video, but, you know. But let's focus now on the front door. Since I usually fly into my base, uh, a land-based assault would be one where I would employ the, the spike walls. And the best part is it's S+. You can always just pick them back up. And no harm, no foul, right? There you go. Now, what it means is that when I take my rock golems out for resource gathering, I'm going to have to um, 
Well, even then, I generally do exactly what I was just talking about. I walk right back over the side of this and just kind of mosey on into the courtyard from there. That's how I usually get them back in. Um, drop off the resources, put them away, take them back outside. We're done. Good, uh, moving on. But yeah, get the main door protected. Um, this probably doesn't need a whole lot of protection. I can do more protecting from the inside because I have control over this tiny little space. This would be where I would throw down and I'll throw down a turret because one turret can can observe this entire hallway. If you if you run in and try and open this door, uh, you're gonna get shot. You're gonna get shot immediately. <laughs> See, it's all about doing more with less. Trying to, instead of creating an imposing wall uh, that consumes tremendous amounts of resources, take advantage of the fact that you already have imposing walls and um, try and just build something else. You know, make defenses that are truly designed to repel an enemy and not necessarily just kill them over and over again because they have the respawn button. Now, normally you wouldn't see spike walls like this out here unless it was wartime, but this is Ark. It's always wartime. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, in medieval times they did build spike walls just like this. Uh, maybe not quite this metallic in nature, but they did build them. Uh, normally you would see them with uh, trenches, as I've mentioned in the past. Yes, they can absolutely climb up the sides here, but that's another uh, issue is they have to climb up the sides and what that does is that brings them more in line with the Vlonosaurs. And what I may do is I may put a few foundations out here and extend this and create an additional watch, an additional like side panel of Vlonosaurs. So if you try and come through the water, they're going to start shooting at you. So it's like... You know, you see this little area here where if somebody tried to pen tried to penetrate through this spot, tried to go through the water here, avoiding that spike wall, they're going to come up here and they're... Be yep, see right there? See right there? They immediately... Like, just perfect demonstration. One Velanosaur is enough to, uh... do to a serious number on this, uh, hapless... the hell? I swear I saw something fly in there. But yeah, this hapless parasaur here just got shot to pieces just for walking too close. But, so a whole line of Velanosaurs would definitely help. But what about this area up here where you can't, where an opponent either flying or, or just being fast is going to be able to get through? So I've got two options. I can use the defenses in my courtyard once that's ready to go, and that won't be ready to go until we can relocate these guys. I will be reloading, ro relocating them once I have a new mutant male to work with. Um, because that's it's time. It's time to get them out of the courtyard, get them out of the direct line of fire, so that I can work with this area a little bit more. But yeah. Also, if you enjoy the video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more. I didn't say that earlier. Really could have tied that into the Velanosaurus, but oh well. Um, yeah, back out here. So you can see we've got our, our spike wall defenses. Um, what other areas can we be attacked from? Now, I can just slap a spike wall right here on shore. Um, or actually, I'd have to slap two or three by the look of it. I'm going to need to make some more, but... This will do for now, and this does as does great as a demonstration, you know. This is the sort of stuff you'd see people do in medieval times in order to defend against an assault. So when you see the movie in Two Towers, the part that you don't see is that Theoden knows an army is coming after he learns it from Aragorn and doesn't have people out there digging trenches and, uh, you know, trying to get whatever he can throw out there as some form of determent. And it does two things. It makes cavalry effectively worthless, although for some reason Saruman didn't think he would need any cavalry beyond warg scouts. 
Um, then again, he was also attacking a fortress where cavalry wouldn't be that helpful anyway. But it also serves to break up the enemy's formation. Now, in the actual movie, there wasn't a forest here, at least not until after the battle, and that wasn't until the extended edition, but there wasn't any water here either, so... Already, that job is well done for us in terms of forcing an enemy's formation to be broken apart as they try to find a way to deal with the water. But yeah, other defenses, which we're not going to cover this second because I just don't have the creatures ready... Hmm... Are going to be, we're going to have some Magmasaurs probably over here, you know, over here kind of lining this whole area, maybe post some perches up there for them, and that way what they could do is they can just fire down at enemies, you know, right here I could build something for them. I, and I will do some of this on camera, but probably not all of it, because, um... You know, that's going to take too long. We're already, what, on four building episodes? And, I, and even if, if, if you find it entertaining, it's like, I don't want to have only building episodes the next few rounds. So, yeah. I think next uh, next episode and the one after, it's going to be, go tame one more fun creature, because I want to do my Cryolophosaurus experiment. And um, from there, we're going to gonna harvest the rest of the artifacts and call it a day, <laughs> you know? Get that done so it no longer needs to be a thing on my to-do list. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Dinotherium out here and put them out here where I have more room to work with it. Um, and I'll do the ceiling method, the PvP ceiling method with the Shadow Mains that are already there and just demonstrate that. We also have enough room in this back area to work with the Rexes, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to get that going. Um, not yet, though. Right now, let's just focus on getting this done. So, looking at this, I could further enhance this uh, area's defenses. We got our two rock golems here. Uh, they'll be helpful for that. Rock golems have formidable knockback, and they themselves are very hard to push around. Heh, <laughs> get it? Hard as a rock, one might say. Huh? Huh? Uh, I'll stop talking. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm still a little uh, undecided on what to do with this bridge. Over here, I can slap a spike wall or something, you know. Uh, also, this is another spot I would consider putting a turret down, because I actually can have a couple of turrets just hold down this area. But really, the primary means of attacking this place. Like, this built Helm's Deep very well, like whoever, like the mod creator really did a good job of replicating Helm's Deep to the best of one's ability to do so. But... And in the movie, in Two Towers, it stated that Helm's Deep has one weakness, and that is this right here. So, I don't know if you actually can destroy it. As you can see, like, if you look at it carefully, you can see it's kind of off-color from the rest of it, which might imply that it was repaired after, after the actual battle, which I think is kind of funny. I also noticed they put the grate right there. So yeah, that's that was how Steve said only weakness. But this is Ark where we have creatures that can fly. So you can bypass the walls entirely and just come right down here. Now, yes, you'd have Velanosaur shooting at you, and when we're finished, you're gonna have a lot more of them shooting at you. But for real damage, for real frontline uh, anti-air damage. I might consider putting up some rocket turrets around here. Like, just a couple of them, just to really lay into those tanky flyers that are going to try and come down. Uh, one thing worth noting is that a Velanosaur shot will actually force a flyer to land. So, that's always good, because it stuns them. I don't know if it dismounts you from them, though. If it does, that's even better. It just, yeah... Uh, still need to figure out what I want to do with these little spots here. And as far as decorations go, that's its own going to be its own can of worms that we're going to deal with. Uh, and that will be an episode. I promise that will be an episode, and so it shall be. But let's come over here to the Hornburg, because I'm actually not sure how I want to build this yet. All I know 
It's like, see, I started it a little bit here, but... Oh, and... Oh, boy. Oh, that's funny. Ow. How did I survive that? <laughs> How did I survive that? That is insanity! Do I not have any more med brews? Oh, wow, I don't. Oh, dear. Uh... What the... Man, uh, my snow owl didn't exist for a second there. My apologies for the pulsing sound. Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Kamazots is just chattering at me like she's laughing, <laughs> like... Nice spill, dork. <laughs> if I take another hit like that, I'm gonna die, so let's not do that. Okay, we're gonna pick all these up, because quite frankly, I don't. I think this looks like trash. Um, really struggling trying to figure out how to get it onto a lower, lower thing. I think what I'm gonna do, see if we can do it. Okay, so I want this to be flush, right? Okay, I think that's going to require me to use the square. Because I want to have it flush with the actual line and not the, the curve. I'd love to get the foundations lower. Let's see if I can actually do that. Oh, boy. Okay, now we're getting into that triangle goodness here. Uh, or not. Okay. Okay, one more, one more. See, I want to see more, like, curved uh, stuff so you can build this proper. Like, I can't really do this justice. I have to do this, which is just fine. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna pray. We're gonna place this right there, and you can see it doesn't line up perfectly, but that's all right. We'll we'll do, we'll do something to fin to finish that off. Okay, and are we back to the thing? It would appear that we are. Can I please put a triangle out there? No. No, I cannot. Alright, cool. Cool, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna need more triangle foundations. Yeah. So, my version of this is gonna have little little star points on it, and that's fine. Um, here, we can fill in some of the rectangle foundations here. Well, square foundations, honestly. Ugh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now the idea is we're going to build like a little like just a little tower. Like just a really simple, like, couple ceiling high tower. And then just from there, attach the bell to it. So it's like two floors. I could do more with it. I just don't feel like getting that creative. And yeah, it's not perfect. Definitely not perfect. But, you know, it'll look a lot better once we're done with it. Um, and again, that's as much uh, of anything as, because, as, as arc foundations just don't allow it to be perfect because they don't line up perfectly with the length of the building, of the original building. That's the issue we were having here, is, you know, someone more skilled at building than me could probably do an even better job with it, but, you know, I think all things being equal, we did okay. Oh, someone's about to get shot. Oh, we got, uh, we got the tech trike over there. Do I want to tame that? What level is that? Nope. All right. Well, oh, well, Parasaur's about to get shot. This guy, he's waiting. Look at him. He's like, come on, do it. Do it. <laughs> 
I do apologize that most of this episode, this is going to be a pretty short episode, I think. Um, okay, we need to go make some more of this stuff here. Oh, yay, I landed on the ground for once. Um, oh. Them wolves do be growling. Okay, we're going to wait for that. Uh, alrighty. Hopefully we can finish this today. Um, hmm. I at least want to be able to get the bell in place. This out of here. Get that out of here. Okay, we got. Okay, just one more. So we wanted to get our bases covered on that. Okay, we can now go full... Actually, hold up. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. It is a shame that they don't perfectly match up to it. I really wish they did, but we're doing the best we can with what we've got. Could do some more adornment and decoration after we finish it. But yeah, them's the limits of arc building for you. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. See if I can put the point on this one. Or on the other one. Oh, yes, I can. How delightful. Can put it on this one. I can't really put it here. Okay. Okay, but now it doesn't really make sense, right? Hold on. Yeah, see, it's a little... Uh, uh. Okay, if it's one over, we've got a winner. Can it be one over? No. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how I would get that to, to sit right there. Hmm. Yeah, the devs were smart enough to go, no, you can't. You can't put that there. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's it's too close on that one side, which is unfortunate. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the final version of this will look like. What I do know is that uh, right now it's looking pretty good. And right now the primary objective is just getting the floor down so we can start building and working with this a bit more. Uh, but uh. Okay, you get the square treatment. It's the same principle as, like, anything. If you just alternate based on what's here. Yeah, we're going to need to make more. Darn it. <sighs> All right. Well... Hmm, why are you triangle?
Okay, yeah, this has to be triangle going that other way. All right. Yeah, we need more triangle foundations. Um... Uh. But yeah, once we get this in the middle, then I can start properly building this out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore these spikes until I figure out what I want to do and then move them. But what we're actually going to do here is I'm going to leave one space. Like one space in. And we're just going to start throwing down our windows, windows right there. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting anything. I'll put some, I guess I have to put walls here. But, eventually. But not yet. I'm um, certainly not taking it all the way around. That's not necessary. But yeah, you're seeing right here the beginning. Actually, no, I have to pick these up. Well, it's the right distance. It's the right distance. Hmm. Let's see. So it would go like this. Yeah, and that's where you'd see, like, the last of it. And here you go. Just slap that right there. Now, one of these is going to be replaced by a door. Uh, and we're also going to have to replace the ladder. So, <laughs> there you go. Now, the rest of the fortress doesn't use glass, from what I can tell. But we're going to have a little bit of creative license on this one, so... Again, it's not perfectly symmetrical, and I apologize for that, but there are limitations to what Ark's building uh, tools allow me to do. Even with this uh, Castle Skeeps and Fortifications mod. Fantastic mod, by the way. Highly recommend. But, uh, yeah, no, there are just, un sadly, limitations. Now, what I really wanted to do, if I could do it, is I could probably bring that side out further. But that would change the entire shape of the, of the structure, so... I'm just okay with it being a little bit off. It's fine. It would honestly just be a pain in the pain in the nuggets to figure it out in the in the first place. So I'm just happy to have something. Now, unfortunately, that me what that means is. Uh, as you saw, the main door doesn't work to get up to the Hornburg Tower in the first place. So, that means we're going to have to figure something out here. Hold on one second, and... Alright, cool. Ugh. Um, yeah, we're going to have to build a ladder up there and all that, so... But I do have a funny idea for something we can do right now what craft you fool okay structures we need more triangle Okay, we gotta let those craft up before we do that, so let's go place this. Um, oops. Give me that. Uh, what time is it in game? Okay, it's getting on nighttime, so I may cut away and bring us back when the product is uh, is finished. What? That is Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put um, crenellated walls along here, and guess what? More Velanosaurs. <laughs> Probably not on this side as much. You won't really need them. It's far too high up for them to be useful there. But um, certainly over here you can use them. 
you know, people coming in this way, trying to get in that, in that direction and all that. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I am gonna have to probably wall that whole thing off. It's just a shame it doesn't fit quite right. I might be able to make it fit. Uh, we'll have to, we'll have to see. So, and I think the way to do that is to replace that one square with a triangle. So, that way it, like, still technically lines up, but not really. I don't know. But, yeah, down here, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. But yeah, I'm, I am glad that we got through some of that. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get through all the decorations, but that's another video for another day. Um, maybe just one more we can do after that, after this. But I really do want to get those artifacts and get a cryo. So, and I also need to make all the decorations. So. Oops. There you go. <laughs> For some reason, um, Philip over there decided to, uh, you know, he accidentally jammed the door from the other side, and we haven't been able to get to him since, so, you know, he's probably dead, but, uh, Minor item. You know, that's what you get when you don't uh, follow the rules. <laughs> now everyone has to use the ladder. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty badass landing right there. Just Jedi flip off the bat into the... But yeah, as you can see, we've got a lot of cool stuff we can do. I'm definitely going to do some diagonal. Hmm, hmm. Stuff, I'll try and get creative with the inside of it. And now, I think this is the part where we have to cut away and bring it back when we're all done with the main structure so I can quickly do some of the rest and then probably call it an episode. So yeah, I'm going to pause here and I'll bring us back when it's both daytime and we're ready to go on that. Hello and welcome back. Um, it actually has been a hot minute since uh, I was last recording. Um, as you can see, what we actually had to do was a bit more extensive than what I was planning. I had to take apart most of the actual thing and uh, redo it so that it would properly align. Otherwise, I couldn't get the ends at the back to meet up properly. It doesn't match the rest of the tower, but that's honestly fine. It is a building on top of the Hornburg, since apparently the top of the Hornburg got knocked off. Uh, where it is now, nobody knows. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's been several hours due to that, plus a little complication that occurred because I was stupid. Um, basically, uh, I don't know if it was obvious in the recording, but at a certain point my FPS started to go crazy. You can see some dead bodies down in the, in the abyss there. Um, I came in here... And the whole place was crawling with baby Velanosaurs and baby Desmodus. Because I let the computer fill up without realizing. Yeah. <laughs> the frames were so bad, and when I tried to fight, tried to kill everything, the lag was so intense because immediately, of course, the um, unclaimed Desmodus that were adults started aggroing. Um, and started shooting at everything, and the frames were so horrible that it was just an absolute nightmare. <sighs> but yeah, no, so this is a few hours later, actually. And I... Charlie... Alright, hold on. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Let's uh, let's go have ourselves a tour here. Very simplistic uh, design, you know. Uh, unfortunately, not much I can do with the keep orange, but I think we can make it work. You know, it's just I can always paint it gray or something. But welcome to the Hornburg Bell Tower. Since the Hornburg uh, Horn of uh, Helm Hammerhand or whatever it was called is no longer here. We now have a bell tower. Yeah. 
There you go. And it, again, it is a quite simple build, but uh, okay, let's structure variants. I kind of want to do this. Eh, actually, no, 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 no. Hmm, a little too eh. I mean, honestly, the square version is fine, but eh, I don't know. Okay, I think we can do something with that. Again, and it's not my favorite type. It just, like, fits the motif of Helm's Deep the best, I think. But yeah, there you go. Um, we do, we make the bell, we build the bell tower. Uh, and that's, that is, that's gonna do it for today. I gotta tell you, I'm not, I'm not in a particularly happy mood after everything that happened. Um, also, I won't even, don't even get me started on the aggravating process of assembling all this. Um, it's not that it was that hard. It's just that the roof, the roof pieces were so uncooperative. And the same with the pillars when I was putting up the bell towers, which act like, um, ceiling platforms. Or, like, ceiling, uh, like, just ceilings. So, I had to set up my pillars, then set up the bells, and all that. And why, you might wonder why two bells. Well, reason is because I wanted to aesthetically match to, to be even with the rest of the room. Uh, and you can't do that with just one. But also, I, um, uh, just figured it would look nice. You know, and also there's no reason why you wouldn't have two. Maybe you'd have two, uh, different pitch uh, and all that. One with a different pitch and have them mean different things. You know, that is absolutely a possibility. But yes, that is definitely going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed that, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya!